Hello YouTube, Fuzz Finger here. In this episode of Final Fantasy XII, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the trial mode to collect the ribbon. Arguably the most powerful accessory in the entire game, but not just one ribbon, as many as you want. So stay tuned. The ribbon is arguably to accessories what the sight and grat is to weapons. Uh, albeit it's a little bit more accessible than the sight and grat was meant to be. That said, it's still a bit of a pain to come across in the main game, usually not available until the very end game, and then, you know, you have to go through some tough areas and you only get limited amounts of them. Whereas in the trial mode, you can steal them from trial stage 49. So it can be a bit of a pain to get to. I'm going to do a walkthrough on trial stages 41 through to 50. Uh, that'll be coming up soon. Uh, but for the time being, I've just thrown some sight and grats on because, uh, you know, that's pretty much all I use my sight and grats for is for farming. And this is a farming episode. But you don't have to use sight and grat. That just gets you through to stage 49 a little bit faster. But I'm not on stage 49 at the moment. I'm on stage 48. Because it's stage 48 you really want to prepare. And the reason for that is basically because you're going to be using the auto save feature to keep reloading stage 49. And you don't want to have to keep setting your gambits up again when you do so. So I'm just going to slow things down a little bit. And we're going to kill the enemies in this area. Which can be a pain. This is the mark that I have done a tutorial video for. And you can find that in the playlist. But it is a hard one because the ads keep spawning. And I'm just going to see what we can... I'm not even going to bother looting actually because I don't have the diamond army to quit. So just as this guy's about to die, when he's, you know, very close to death. I'm going to have a go at... Um... No, I'm not. I'm just going to let him die here. I think I've got my gambit set up correctly. So we'll just need to put one more person on to steal shortly afterwards. I would like to heal up though, if possible, before we go ahead with killing this fella. There he goes. That's good. So now we're going to get an auto save at stage 49. And we're going to want to start stealing. And you want to steal off the main named fiend, which is Hashmel. Now he can either drop an elixir, which is his common drop, or he can drop the ribbon. So what I recommend before you get to this stage, so stage 48, is you throw the thief's cuffs on. That way when you reload your auto save because you fail to steal the correct item, you won't have to keep equipping. And the same with Balthier as well. I've put the thief's cuffs onto him as well. And I'm just going to make sure here that uh, Vaughn and Balthier have steel. So I will just have to turn Balthier's steel on each time. That's all I've got to do for preparation here. And we got a high ether, unfortunately, so uh, not the most exciting thing from Hashmail there. So we can go ahead and quit. And we're going to head back to trial mode and just load up the auto save. Make sure you do go to trial mode first though. If you load up the auto save on load game, you'll head back into the main game and possibly overwrite your trial mode progress. And so not something you want to do. So that's pretty much it. And I'll just head back down quickly to Gambits. Balthia and turn the steel gambit on and we're good to go again hopefully this time I've got another high ether so we're back once more to just quitting back to the main menu heading to trial mode and repeat until we do finally get the ribbon which can take a bit of time unfortunately but with the thief's gloves it's a little bit easier so Let's see if we can get it on this occasion. Another high ether. Right, so I've actually managed to steal the ribbon now. So all we have to do is basically head back to Gambit's here and turn off that steel. You do just need to make it through this uh, stage which isn't particularly challenging but just bear that in mind that you do have to kill these enemies so we'll speed up if you get game over then it can be a bit of a problem but there it goes once you've done that then you'll get the auto save over on the next stage it doesn't matter if you die here you can even quit so we're going to go ahead and quit in fact and then we're going to load up and make sure you load up your 
Uh, stage 50 is what it should be if you quit where I quit. And hopefully, if we've done this correctly, we should have a nice ribbon in the game. And we'll just need to do that a couple more times to get three ribbons, one for every character. Well, one for every active character at any one time. Lovely. So, basically, most status effects in the game will not affect the character with the ribbon equipped. So if you have all three equipped, then negative status effects, which is probably one of the hardest uh, challenges that the game has to offer, especially on, you know, challenging bosses and whatnot, will be completely moot. So definitely something I recommend getting, definitely something I recommend farming. I hope this video has helped you to uh, learn how to do that. And if so, let us know in the comment section. And if you get all three ribbons, tell us how long it took you. And so then other people can have an idea of how long it will take them as well. Uh, but that's it for me for today, fo uh, folks. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, and I look forward to coming back soon for more Final Fantasy XII. Cheers all.